just got home from the gym got a lot of work to do today um, getting ready to go edit and upload a vlog also I've got a, a huge mix that I've got to get done today um, so that's gonna take most of the day and then I've got a session starting at 6 o'clock with uh, Quincy Martian who you guys saw in yesterday's vlog so um, yeah getting ready to get all of this knocked out uh, probably have to make a run to the bank as well um, so it's like it's about 9 a.m. right now so yeah I got a lot to get done before 6 <laughs> All right, what's going on fam? So I got a lot of work to do today. Uh, just finished editing my vlog and it is exporting now. So I don't know if you guys have saw on my social media lately, but I'm really considering doing these daily vlogs um, for a few reasons. One, because I've really fallen in love with the process of just documenting my journey and editing these vlogs. Um, I get a lot of joy out of that. But two, um, I, I think back to whenever I was first getting into mixing and I was first starting to fall in love with uh, being a mix engineer. Um, you know, I used to think about what it would be like to be able to not have my nine to five and be able to do that full time. And so now that that's the lifestyle that I'm living, I like to have um, everything documented and uploaded so that way others out there who was in my shoes um, from three years ago, you know, you guys are able to tap into my life and see what it's like to be your own boss and, you know, have uh, this freedom to do what you love. So um, yeah, I'm really considering doing these daily vlogs. Don't hold me to it yet. I'm just kind of talking out loud here uh, and, and letting you guys know where my mind is at right now. But um, you know, this week I've uploaded Sunday, Monday, Wednesday, Thursday. Um, got a vlog going up today, which is Friday. Um, and then this you guys will be seeing uh, on Saturday so yeah uh, missed what Tuesday this week so hasn't been that difficult to get these up and um, yeah so we'll see so other than that it is now 11 almost 11 30 and I've got a mix that I've got to knock out and have done by six o'clock um, I don't necessarily have to have it done by then but that's my goal I have another session with Quincy Martian starting at six so uh, yeah Got a busy day ahead of me, about to get this work in. Um, yeah, let's go. So last night I posted a picture on my Instagram of the vocal chain that we were working with last night with Quincy Martian. Um, the full chain was a U87 straight into the Apollo. We're using the Neve 1073 Pre. Uh, the U the unison preamp inside the Apollo and then uh, going into the LA two way to the pull tech so a lot of you guys asked me questions last night was I actually EQing on the way in or was I just using the pull tech for color and I was actually EQing that's something new that I started doing uh, over just the past few days last week I was talking with one of my homies that I've actually met through YouTube and he had sent me a mix over the vocals on his mix I could tell that the high end was boosted but um it just sounded really smooth and re really controlled I complimented him on that and he told me what he likes to do he said that you know he doesn't really boost too much high end in the mix he'd rather do it during tracking and get it right from the source he said he does it with the pull tech with the Apollo so um, yeah I tried it out and I was actually liking the results I'm actually gonna play a few of the demos from last night raw vocals it's just through that recording chain and uh, they haven't been touched inside the box so I'm gonna show you guys you know the type of results that I strive for uh, just from from my demos from my roughs and so that way whenever I start mixing it's not like this battle process I don't have to go through and fight with the vocal to really clean it up a whole bunch it's more just you know you get creative right from the start and start boosting stuff that you do like and uh, go from there. My pocket's going empty, bitch trying to tempt me. She just want my money, I can't let her trick me. I know she been there for me. Rain cloud.
don't snore on me, but she got no hold on me. I'll pass it to the homies. Hey, money getting rolled in the papers. Yeah, my money getting blown in the papers. Hey, hey. So I just wanted to bring you guys in the box real quick so that way you could see the settings that I used uh, on this particular vocal. Obviously, every voice is going to be different. Um, you know, every mic, depending on what your preamp situation is, it's going to be different. Um, but this is what I use for those of you who have the Apollo and have these plugins as well. Uh, just set the LA two way. I was getting max around five dB gain reduction on his vocal. Then I set the pull tech after the LA two way and I boosted at 16 K around three dB. Um, I set the bandwidth to about four and yeah it just worked out really well um my voice is running through this same chain right now so you can kind of get a sense I, I don't have headphones on so i can't hear how i'm sounding right now but it worked on quincy's voice last night and um yeah shout out to my my dude who who gave me this this tip and i wanted to pass it on to you guys if you have the apollo and you have these plugins check it out if you dig it, leave a comment down below once you try it out and tell me what you think. Um, sometimes I also use uh, I'll boost at 10K and uh, around three to four uh, dB boost. I don't ever go higher than four. Uh, it depends on what mic I'm using, the voice, um, et cetera. But yeah, I find that around three is the sweet spot. So yeah, leave a comment below if you dig it. Um, try it out. Let me know what you think. And I will catch you guys tomorrow with another vlog. If you dig this one, definitely give it a thumbs up. Uh, comment, share, subscribe. Again, the community is growing, so I appreciate everyone that's clicking that red button. You guys mean the world to me. I'll catch you tomorrow. Peace.